But this is definitely world's first right here. That's for sure. All right guys, so today I'm taking my street legal cross card to the tail of the dragon and you guys asked for it and I've also been wanting to do this for a while so I am super excited but also nervous. To make this a legit road trip, I'm bringing one of my sketchiest vehicles in the fleet, the Miata. This is my daily driver. I have towed a jet ski with this thing but this is a whole cross guard. So I really don't know how this is going to go but if something breaks, I guess I have a camera. That's more content for you guys. <laughs> So I got the buggy strapped down. It's very nice and solid. The main area of concern is gonna be braking because this is way over the exceeded weight rating. This is definitely world's first right here. That's for sure. Right, so far, so good. That's not good. Well, I might have spoke a little bit too soon. The Miata just died out of nowhere. It did give me some warning signs prior to this, like bucking and rough idle, um, but it died and we sprayed fuel in the intake and the car still did not want to start so this kind of narrows it down to some ignition problems hopefully it's just the coil pack we'll get it fixed i decided just to take the old trusty honda and off we go to the tail of the dragon this is day two so guys i have some new cross cart merch available this is from when i went downtown we have some japanese font here because jdm inspired so i'm pretty happy with how this design came out so if you're a fan of what I do, want to support the channel, be sure to check the first link in the description. And I also have hoodies, so guys, with that being said, let's get back to the video. this existed that is crazy all right guys I made it to the tail of the dragon the deals gap this is the famous place everyone's talking about brought the cross car here and guys I am super nervous because I've never been here before so I'm probably gonna try to take it easy because I don't know if you guys see that tree but a lot of stuff goes down here so I'm gonna have my buddy following me just in case so yeah guys I guess let's get to it
excited. I immediately noticed the temperature started rising and it got me worried so I just put this thing in 6 gear and decided to limp it and get it off the road as soon as possible. Now I did drive it for about 2 to 3 maybe 4 minutes with uh, low oil so I think it'll be alright though these engines are tough so we just have to see in the next video what happened if anything. Despite this I did finish the entire tail of the dragon on my own it's about a 30 minute drive. So this is definitely a success in my books. Woo! Hey, something might be spewing out. Something's spewing on the back of the on the front windshield. No coolant. Oh man. Well, Mike, you stay here and uh. <laughs> I was looking at the temp gauge. I was like, why what is you it? Two fifty. Dude, you oh, better be glad you're over. Yeah, this isn't a big deal breaker. All right, guys, so we have a water pump ejection. This dude really pulled a Fast and Furious and ejected out of the cart. There's only two bolts holding that pump in instead of three, and that's why I guess it failed. But I've had enough fun. This thing is definitely very fun to drive, and I was watching my temp gauge. I was like, why is it in the 250s? And I guess that's why. Sheesh. Now, are you, are you from Montana, or is this... No, I is... thought I did the same thing as you. <laughs> <laughs> in Montana, you don't pay sales tax. Right. So, there's gyro disc brakes, two-piece, um, the wheels. I got a, I put a ported blower on it, throttle body, head, Ford headers, Ford racing headers, Ford, took off the cats. Um, yeah, it loves the cold air. Oh, yeah. It's cool air makes a lot of power. Yeah, it's amazing. So guys, I had a lot of fun today. Uh, despite the minor setback, we'll get that fixed. 
Uh, this guy happened to pull up on us as we were about to leave. Very clean and modded out 4GT. Awesome spec. Um, he was telling us how this car is too much for these roads that even 100 horsepower, 200 horsepower would be perfect for these roads. So, so guys, if you're wanting to come out here, don't bring your 1,000 horsepower drag car here. 100 horsepower, 200 horsepower will work. I guess with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.